My name's Duddy, so I'll build the stuff for today. I want to talk to you about a pack called High Ground. I believe this pack is very, very underrated. It gives you a 20% damage bonus for being 0.5 meters above somebody or a target in the air. Really, really good. It doesn't work when you jump, but basically, as long as you're above a target, you're going to get a 20% damage increase. And like I said, you don't have to be that high at all. So stay with me, and it's excellent for this week's GM. High ground, this weapon gains bonus damage when attacking targets from higher ground. The enhanced version just gives you increased reload speed. It's a 20% damage increase as long as you're 0.5 meters above something. So, quick damage test, 39k per shot. All I'm going to do is just jump up. you probably guess what I'm going to do. I'm going to get high. So, 39k, and you're going to see an increase up to uh, 46,000, nearly 47k. That's a 20% damage increase. There's some really good exotics that work with this, something like Sanguine Alchemy. While standing in any rift, gain a bonus to weapons with a damage type matching your subclass damage type. Weapon final blows while standing in a rift. Pause the rift's cooldown, extending its duration. The sniper I'm using is a stasis sniper, so I put it on a stasis subclass, and you'll see a big damage increase. 46k, that's the high ground. I've put my rift down, and it's going to go up again to 54,000. That's the Sanguine Alchemy. The good thing about Sanguine Alchemy in particular, the damage bonus actually stacks with Empowering Rift, so you can put your Empowering Rift down as well and get a even a further bigger damage increase. And this is all just very small little details that you can really turn this pack into something nice. You'll see in there, my main power Rift, and it goes all the way up to 65k. So it's a pretty strong pack. Now, this week is a pretty good pack also to run in this week's GM, because as you can see, in where the GM takes pl uh, place on the Cosmodrone, you are above a lot of targets. I have got a Sleepless as well. There's numerous weapons that rule with high ground, but this rocket launcher felt pretty nice in here as well. So just by having two weapons with high ground, you're getting 20% flat damage bonus, which does stack with everything. And like I said, this week's GM, the Cosmodrone. In this GM, I promise you, you are about... 85% of the time you will be proccing this pack. I've tested it. I've done a couple of GMs already tonight So most of the time in this GM wherever you stand Mainly for the strats that we use we are above the targets by 0.5 meters First encounter you're on the rooftop second encounter if you push towards the back of the room uh, Where you actually leave the encounter you are above targets there if you're aiming down You'll see I've got that high ground procced again. So for this GM in particular, it is a very, very nice perk indeed. I've had it propped pretty much 80-85% of the time through this GM. There is loads of weapons. I'm not going to go through every weapon that can roll high ground. It doesn't have to be a sniper. You can pair it up with other weapons as well. But the sniper and the rocket launcher that I had both had high ground on. And just getting that extra damage bonus. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, there is loads and loads of different exotics. You could really sort of like take advantage of this, especially if there's two or three of you running this pack. In this clip, I'm standing in a well of radiance. That's a 25% damage increase without having to really do anything in particular. But if we go to something like the Balandar's Wrath Reavers, uh, even like a Dawnblade, uh, Welllock, Bow Tracer on a Hunter, these are all good choices. Even something like Icefall Mantle on a Titan to get that stasis damage boost as well. It is really, really good perk. It's severely underrated and it's pretty good for this week's GM. And as you know, the last part of this GM, you are going to be standing up on here. If not, you're going to be on one of them little ledges on the left or the right. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.